Good afternoon, Camp Wanoxit, and welcome back to the Wanoxit Experience. For those of you who do not know me yet, my name is RJ Murray, and I am your Assistant Provost Scoutmaster for the summer. If you don't know what that means, yep, don't worry about it. We'll get into it later. For today's video, we are actually going to be venturing out to our Scoutcraft area. Now, for those of you who do not know, Scoutcraft is one of our 11 program areas in camp. And Scoutcraft specifically focuses on the scout skills involved around camping, cooking, tying knots and building fires. The reason we are going out there today is we are going to be learning one of the most important skills that every scout who comes to Camp Winoxit eventually learns, and that is how to build the perfect fire. All right guys, so I am now here with Ruben Connor. He is our Scoutcraft Director and Resident Fire Expert. Ruben, talk to me about what we're gonna need to do today to build the absolutely most perfect fire. All right, RJ, so every fire is gonna need three things. You're gonna need a heat source, you're gonna need oxygen, and you're gonna need fuel in order to create a successful fire. And we're gonna start off with our fuel. Now, by fuel, you mean like gathering firewood, right? Exactly. <laughs> All right, Ruben, so what are we looking for here? Uh, so every fire, we're gonna start with tinder. Uh, so that can be birch bark that you grab off a dead tree um, or some manila rope that you peel apart. Uh, and then from there, you move on to kindling. Kindling is gonna be starting off with really small, small sticks like a dry, dead uh, hemlock. And then you can move on to bigger, bigger twigs uh, until you get it to fuel wood, which is stuff like bigger than your thumb. All right, so anywhere on the ground is gonna be a great place. Anytime we're uh, getting firewood we want, firewood that is following the three D's. It's dry, it's dead, and it's down. Love that. <laughs> okay, all right. so right around here, small twigs, they're all around. Larger wood is gonna be around as well. So we don't wanna grab anything off of like trees that are alive or like even trees that are down that maybe have leaves on them. That's not gonna burn well. Exactly, anything like that is still uh, alive it has, if it has leaves on it, uh, and that's not gonna be good for burning. All right guys, we just went out and we gathered some uh, some nice firewood and we've got three nice little piles going on here. Ruben, talk to me about what am I looking at? What's in front of me right now? So our three piles here, we have peeled birch bark, very thinly peeled. Uh, this is our tinder, the thing that you light, that's what's going to light the rest of the fire. Right next to it, we have our smallest kindling that we have. Uh, this is hemlock, very small pieces of wood, easy to light, and this goes directly on top of our tinder. Uh, then we have slightly larger kindling, just larger than this, but not large enough uh, that it can't be lit right away. They all go on top of each other, and we're gonna be building the type of fire called a teepee fire. It's built in a triangular formation, laying pieces on top of each other so that they form a, a teepee shape uh, so that it lights from the bottom and everything on the top burns. So the base of the fire is going to be the tinder, our tinder nest right here and our birch bark. And this is what we're gonna light? Yeah. Okay. Next we'll go on, top will be the smallest kindling, the hemlock. And then from there you start to build the actual TP shape with your small kindling. The more you lay on, the more it will look like a TP. Now while we're doing this, you mentioned that the uh, tinder was the birch bark and some of the kindling was the hemlock, but these sort of smallish, larger sticks, what kind of, are these any particular uh, kind of wood? Yeah, so these are just small twigs that are easy to light. The hemlock will be lit by the birch bark and that hemlock will then light these smaller kindling sticks. All right, so that's our fire? Yep, ready to light it. Uh, Ruben, it's a little small. It is, so when you're building your fires, um, you could start small. At this point, we could continue to add more kindling to it, and at some point, uh, if we light it now, It'll burn, and then we continue to add sticks, laying in the same fashion to build it up in the same teepee shape. At some point, we move on from kindling onto fuel wood, which okay. is going to be big logs. So okay, if anything gotcha. thicker than your thumb, it's going to be your fuel wood, and that's what's going to keep your fire going for a long time. Okay, great. So this is ready to go. Yep. All right, let's light it. So for lighting this, we're going to be using regular old strike-on-box matches. You can bring on any camping truck. After you light it, you need to make sure flame is going and lighting the birch bark, so our tinder. That's what's going to start the fire. So this is kind of going up quick. Mm -hmm. What's the plan now? Do we just sort of like let it go? For so a at this bit? point, you can let it go for a little bit, let it catch, and then you're going to want to keep adding kindling until it gets large enough that you can add fuel. All right. All right, Ruben. So what's going on now? 
Okay, so we have begun the process of adding the fuel to the fire. Uh -huh. Right now there's some small fuel on it, but we can continue to add it. And so right now this is a healthy and stable fire. Okay, so if we wanted to, we could add bigger and bigger wood and just make it a giant thing. Yep. But for now, this fire is healthy, it's stable. Mm -hmm. The real question is though, is this fire good enough for roasting marshmallows? Yeah. So, can we roast marshmallows? Um, yeah. Wow, this is nice, guys, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This, this is nice. nice. All right, that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you're able to use these skills during your adventures this summer. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you guys liked, what you didn't like, what you wanna see in the future. But that is gonna be that. We are going to enjoy these uh, s'mores now, and uh, we will see you guys in the next video.